Okay guys, so I wanted to come on here today and do a video where I try out new makeup products. I'm going to be trying out a new foundation, possibly a new powder, and some mascara that's different, and just, just a bunch of different things I just picked up. So, actually, I live in Lexington, Kentucky. I don't know if you guys knew that, but I do. And Olga works, and one of my friends, and one of my friends, her name is Olga, she works for Givenchy, and she gave me this foundation the other day. So I'm going to try it out. And then she also gave me, let's see, she also gave me one of their powders and then a concealer too. And then I also went out and purchased this, which is the Westman Atelier Mascara. So yeah, we're just going to kind of try out a bunch of different products and see what happens. So how I'm going to use this is I'm not going to put an excess, I'm not going to put a bunch of this on. I'm just going to put this mainly on areas where you see dark marks and then I'm going to just blend it all over my face. But I'm not going to just be applying like a thick layer. It's going to be a very thin layer of this. And I have the shade N430. I really enjoyed the shade of this foundation. And if you are in the Lexington, Kentucky area, you should definitely go and visit Olga. She works at Givenchy section at Sephora. And yeah, check her out and tell her that Jocelyn sent you. I'm just gonna use a little bit of this NARS concealer to go underneath my eyebrow and like just kind of conceal and carve out that shape that I want. And then we're gonna use a different concealer for the under eyes. So these are the Secret Camouflage Concealer Sticks and they have a correcting side and then they have a brightening side so I'm gonna use I have five neutral and five warm so I'm gonna use the correcting side for this and just it's a little bit light but I like that Oh my god that looks so nice so I always layer my concealers and I just really wanted to try this out I like how it looks when I blend it out with my beauty blender and this is a cream product so if you don't like creams you don't have to use this but I I'm just trying out some of this new makeup I'd have to say, overall, I really do like the Laura Mercier concealer sticks. I think they're really creamy, but what I really like about them is that they hydrate the skin and they won't look dry and patchy. I'm going to go in now to this. This is just for highlighting purposes. This is in the shade 40. Let me put a little bit right there and see. The Givenchy Tint Couture Everwear Concealer. 
Oh, that blended out flawlessly. Laura Mercier Translucent Medium Deep Setting Powder is the first one we're going to use. So let's see what that looks like. Always looks nice. This is like my tried and true. I always know this is going to work out for me. I don't... Sometimes I actually use this to set my whole face. And then sometimes I only use it to set like the perimeter of my face. I really like how this looks on my eyelids. Like, so I like to set my eyelids with this. And then a little bit on well, a lot on the eyelids. We're gonna layer a lot. So you guys always ask me how do you set how do you use so many powders and not look cakey? Honestly, it's a thing of it depends on how you prep your skin, how you buff away the powder, and if your products work well together. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I could use two, one or two powders, but if those powders don't work well with my concealers and my foundation, then it's not going to look good. Um, also, you have to know the skin type that you have. So I have oily combination. I don't really get oily anymore because I use oil as a primer. And then also, if I thought I was really like adding way too much powder, I would just put this under my eyes and call it a day. Like I don't have to put three powders under my eyes. I usually just do like two and I usually don't apply as much as you think I do. That's the, that's the real deciding factor. I actually don't apply as much I mean, I think it looks like I apply more product than I do. I think that's, I think that's it. <laughs> I honestly do. Now with this, this is the Givenchy um, Prism Libre in the shade 6. So technically it says you can like buff, m use, mix all four of these colors together. I just want to use the yellow and the orange. This is yellow orange, this is pink, and this is brown. So I just want to use yellow and orange. So what I'm going to do is flip it upside down, pat it, and then... So the only thing I don't like about this is I don't like the pink color. Yeah, let me see. Let's see what it looks like when I just use a little bit of it. Because the pink color kind of got mixed in with everything. So I definitely don't dislike the powder, but it definitely should be designed a little bit different. The pink just threw me off a little bit. So if I mix, I mixed all the colors together, and that's what it looks like. Hmm. Wow. Um, hold on. So it's not bad, but it's a little too much pink. See, that's perfect. If you can just get the yellow and the orange shades out by themselves, that's perfect. I don't like that you, they like, it forces you to use like all four though. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Like it should have like a closure over one of them. Like you should be able to close one or two or three to like pick which one you actually want to use. So that's the only bad part about this powder is that it kind of like, unless you have like a piece of tape, you can't like pick or choose that easily. But the yellow and the orange powder are really good for my skin type. <sighs> so now we're going in with the same old boring highlighter. I use Laura Mercier highlighter every day, so I'm not going to switch it up today because I don't have any new highlighters. If I did have a new highlighter, I would probably still use this though. So 
So now we're going to use this amazing looking mascara. This is Westman Atelier. Honestly, they should make their lip liners come in this packaging because this is amazing packaging. This is called the I Love You Mascara. I love this. So cute. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the final look. I really like it. Um, I think I should put some eyeshadow on my lips. <laughs> I don't know why I'm like this. I just, this is like my favorite way to do my lips. So I take this shadow and uh, do that. I feel so much better. <laughs> While I'm at it, let me put it on my cheeks too. Oh, you can't tell me that didn't just make my face look so much better. In my opinion, it did. Might be a little bit too much there, but I don't care. <laughs> I'm almost out of this one, though, so I need to calm down with that. Okie dokie. So, what should we do now? I should show you my outfit, shouldn't I? Let's show you the outfit. Okay guys, so my hair is from RPG Show. My shirt is from 20 Montreal. My pants are vintage. It's actually a suit from Jay Taylor. And it's like probably 20 year old suit that I had tailored, but I'm not wearing the jacket. Instead, I'm gonna wear my mango coat. Oh, we need a purse, don't we? Okay, so I think my Kelly bag will go with this. In your opinion, does this go? Because I think it doesn't. No, it doesn't. But this does. So, I actually have my black Chanel bag downstairs, so that's what I'm gonna end up wearing, I think. Okay guys, so that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my outfit and my makeup and all that jazz and let me know what you want to see next and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.